Well, hello to all good people of the world. This is Paul Whittakin returning to you today with the Universal Law of Numbers. And in the previous video, I spoke about uh, what would happen if we multiply our triangles by the numbers one through nine. And we're going to kind of see what we get. But I'm going to just go ahead and tell you ahead of time uh, a little bit about it because you probably won't uh, have a very good opportunity to go through these numbers uh, yourself. But in reality, uh, showing you all of the numbers one through nine multiplied by one through nine is uh, way too much for one lesson. But I will explain to you that essentially what happens is it's just the rotation of the same numbers and in essence we're going to get the same thing. So this is the original one triangle because if I multiply the original one triangle by one, I'm going to get the original one triangle and that's what this is. But it shows us the pattern, because the number one is a very good blueprint for the rest of the system. At least it will get you started uh, to begin to understand how the system works. So basically what we see is if we have the number one, then this number right here will also be a number one. And if it's a one here, that's a one here that comes down here, which makes it a one here which also makes it a one here. And if it's a one here, it has to be an eight here because one plus eight equals nine. And if it's an eight here, it has to be a one here because eight plus one equals nine. Now we're multiplying the one, the number one triangle by the number two. We get the same codes. They're in different positions. Right here we have 19753086.4. We know that from the front or the left side of uh, 4. We here have here 24691358.02. We know that as the, the right side of the numbers uh, 4 and 5. But if we have a 2 here, we must have a 2 here. If we have a 2 here, we must have a 2 here. If we have a 2 here, here, we must have a 2 here, and 2 plus 7 equals 9. 7 plus 2 equals 9. With the numbers 3, 6, and 9, we get a little bit of a variation of the code, but it's basically 3, 6, 9 rotating. It goes from 3, 6, 9 to 3, 7, 0. Up here, it's 3, 6, 0, 3, 6, 0, 3, 6, 0. If we have a three here, we have a three here. If we have a three here, we have a three here. If we have a three here, we have a six here because six plus three is nine. Six plus three here is nine. This is the four triangle or the number one triangle multiplied by the number four. If we have a 4 here, we have a 4 here. If we have a 4 here, we have a 4 here. If we have a 4 here, we have a 4 here. And 4 plus 5 is 9. And 5 plus 4, this will be a 4 here because it just comes down equals 9. Now this triangle here is changing on the bottom, it's a different one, it's not going 669, it's going 639, 639, 639. If we have a 5 here, we must have a 5 here, we must have a 5 here and a 5 here. 5 plus 4, this must be a 4, equals 9. 4 plus 5 equals 9. What do I mean by 5? 6, 1, 7, 2, 8, 3, 9, 5, 0, that's our 5. 4, 9, 3, 8, 2, 7, 1, 6, that's our 4. Once again, the six threes and nines uh, change up a little bit, but you can see that it's, uh, it's six, three, nine in a variation. Well, it's, it's rotating. This is not a six, it's a seven. This is not a three, this is a four, this is not a nine, it's a zero. So if this is a six, this is a six, this is a six, this is a six, six plus three equals nine, and nine plus 
Well, 3 plus 6 equals 9. Okay, number 7. We see our codes coming back at us. Uh, this is a 7, this is a 7, this is a 7, and this is a 7. 7 plus what equals 9? 2. 2 plus 7 equals 9. We may recognize these codes. 19753086464. Or we may recognize 8024691358. This is the left side of four, and this is the left, uh, it's the same as the left side of four and the left side of five, the right side of four and the right side of five. Eight, same thing. If this is an eight, this must be an eight. If this is an eight, it must be an eight. If this is an eight, this must be an eight. If this is an eight, this must be an eight. How much plus? 8 equals 9, 1. If this is an 8, this is a 1. 1 plus 8 equals 9. This is a 9, this is a 9, this is a 9, this is a 9. This is a 9, then this is a 9, because 9 and 9 is what makes 9. 9 and 9 makes 9. Okay, we can just take a brief look and see a little bit what's going on. So in the original set of triangles, we have six, six, nine, six, six, nine, six, six, nine. Now we're going to six, three, nine, six, three, nine, six, three, nine. What does that mean? It's the triangle on the bottom. Three and three is six. Two and one is three. Nine. Six. Three. Nine. Six. Three. And nine. Okay. So something else has changed. In the original set of triangles, we were getting the 147 code on the left hand side. Now we're going to get the 147 and we're going to get the 258 codes going together. And that's why we get this 639. For instance, 1 is the 147 code, but 2 is the 258 code. 3 is 339, that's the 369 code. 4 is the 147 code, 741 code as you will, but it's always symmetrical. 471, 471. Same thing with the 258s. 5 will be a 258. 528, 528. Six will be 669, 669, 669. Seven will be the 147 code because seven is a 147 number. 714, 714. Eight is a 258 number. So it'll be 852, 852. Okay. And basically, they're just making nines. They're doing the same thing. And this is the way it was with the original triangles. This is our schematic for the original triangles. And here we have the new triangles. This is by multiplying the one triangle by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And as you can see, I've done this for all of the numbers, but we're not going to go through all of the numbers today, but I can assure you that they're following the same codes. They're just rearranging them, uh, you know, on this, on this side, it will be something different. On this side, it'll be something different, but it'll be our codes. This is the code, uh, well, 9506172840. That's our five number. Over here, it's 0493-8271, or 6, or 604-938-271. We should know those codes by now. Okay, so just to kind of summarize, what happens when we try and understand what the, the triangle will be underneath 
the top triangle, what, how will the trapezoid form? Well, it's going to form just exactly the same as it did in the original sequences. Basically, what we have is this is the one number, and it's what it always was because one times one is one. It'll come down adding 333 on the left-hand side to make that trapezoid, and it will come down 405 on the right side to make that trapezoid. And we know that 333 plus 405 is 738. But in the middle column, we have to take off 1 minus 1. And that minus 1 is multiplied 9 times. So that will be minus 9. 738 minus 9, just like in the originals, is 729. For 2, we have the same codes, but they're in a different, they're in different sequences in different orders. But when you multiply, well, when you reduce them, it doesn't matter what order those numbers are in; they will still reduce to the same thing. So basically, if we add up these numbers, we get 38. Multiply that times nine. If we add up these numbers, it's 45. 44 multiplying times nine, 396. 342 plus 396, 738. We minus the 9 to get the 729. For 3, this sequence on the left, 370, 370, 370. This sequence on the right, 962, 962, 963. Do the reduction, 270, 468. Add them at 738. We minus the 9, we get the 729. So each one of these triangles to get into the next, to add the trapezoid on, we're adding 729 each time. With the number 5, it's going to be adding 369 on the left, 369 on the right. That's 738. We minus the 9, we get 729. And we can clearly see that we're using the 369 code. For 6, it was 740 on the left-hand side three times. And on the right, 925, 925, 926. We see how it's relating to the 369 code. Instead of 936, it's 925. Uh, here it's getting closer. Instead of 936, it's 926. That's the ending sequence. Add up the 297, 441, 738. We minus 9, and we're getting 729. Another way you can look at it is it's 82 times 9 minus the 9, which is 729. For 7, we recognize this code, 19753086.4. Over here, we can recognize it, 35802.4791. And add 387, 351 equals 738 minus the 9 is 729. For 8, it's going to come down 396 on the left. It's going to come down 342 on the right. We're going to add those, get 738, and we're going to get our 729. With 9, it's as simple as that. It's just 9 times 9, which is 81. 81 and 7, 657, or 657, or 567, if you will, <laughs> will give us the 738, and we minus the 9, and we're going to get the 729. So, just like with the original sequence, we will see that if we add up these codes, even though the orders of the numbers have changed somewhat, it's still going to give us the same answer. So, on the left-hand side of 1, this is the code. On the right-hand side of 1, that's the code. Left-hand side of 2 is the code. Right-hand side 2. Left 3, right 3. Left 4, right 4. Left 5, right 3. 5, etc. And we know that all of these, if we multiply this number times 9 plus this number times 9, we are going to get 9 billion, just like it was in the original sequence. If you wish, we can multiply that entire thing by 9 because we've multiplied the triangle 9 times. We'll get 81 million. In any case, this 9 billion uh, if we use the 729 as the, the unit, uh, as we are in this case, we'll come back to the original code. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, 0. That's how it originates. And just to recap the very basics, what is going on? It's revolving. 
And it's as simple as that. Because we can see it if we just multiply 248751, our code, times 1, which is 248751, times 2, which is 487512, 487512, same number. 487512, 487512, 487512, 487512. This is all the 369 code. That's a 6. 4 and 8 is a 3. 8 and 7 is 15 is a 6. 7 and 5 is a 3. 5 and 1 is a 6. 1 and 2 is a 3. Or come down. 4 and 8 is a 3. 8 and 7 is a 6. 7 and 5 is a 3. 5 and 1 is a 6. 1 and 2 is a 3. 1 and 3 and 5 is a 9. 2 and 6 and 1 is a 9. 4 and 3 and 2 is a 9. 8 and 6 and 4, that's 18, is a 9. 7 and 8 and 4, 12 and 12. 7 and 8 is 15 and... What am I doing? 7, maybe I'm doing it different now. Uh, okay, 7 and 3 is 10 and 8 is 9. 5 and 6 is 11 and 7 is 18 is 9. Excuse me for that. That's Paul Whittakin. That's not the universal law of numbers. We're going to leave it short today, and I hope that was insightful for you, and it helps you to begin to understand a little bit how astonishing this system is, because in essence, it really is remarkable that we can multiply uh, these kind of numbers to receive these kind of uh, results with such a simple method. So, I'm signing up. My name is Paul Whittakin. Peace and happiness to all good people of the world.